It looks dead, but is it really? Stay tuned to find out. Today, we're gonna look at some carnivorous plants. Now, I have a very small Drosera collection, um, also known as the Sundew, and I have one that has been struggling for a while. We're gonna look and see what's going on with this plant and what is really happening. This is the Drosera Graeo mogulensis, and this plant has been in my collection for about three months. I got it at the beginning of the summer season. This plant never quite transitioned very well from the nursery to my collection. When I got this plant, it looked quite healthy. It had um, abundance of leaves and some of the dew was still um, on each of the uh, leaves, but over time they started to dry up. It started to look kind of wilty and it just kept progressively getting worse um, up until this point. Some people have said that this plant can be kind of finicky. It can suffer a lot of transport shock, but as long as the crown uh, stays green, then we're all good. What I noticed that as this plant was living in my collection, um, the leaves were starting to turn brown. So all the new leaves were kind of stunted. They had kind of this brownish blackish look to it and it just never got better from there. I continued to water this plant. I put it under some bright LED lights and I tried to give it the best conditions that I thought would be working well for this plant. I'm not sure what exactly happened, but eventually the crown of this plant just continued to die back and it just turned completely black. So I thought this plant is goner and I just don't have time to deal with it. So I'm just going to leave it in a corner alone and I'll deal with it when I have time. Well, I checked back on this plant about a week or so ago and I noticed that there is some green on it. So I thought maybe I just didn't see this before and this is just kind of the last remnants of the stem of this plant. Um, that's still green and it's going to just turn brown and black like the rest of it. I continued to keep my eye on it and looking at it now, you can definitely see there is some vibrant life growing out of this possibly dead plant. So this plant is kind of like a zombie plant for me. I thought it was dead, but it's definitely still alive. So it kind of just came back from the dead. I think there is more than one crown that's growing off from this plant. It looks like there's probably two or three, judging by the way and direction of the new growth. So there is definitely some new leaves that are coming out, but they haven't actually extended to the point where I'm gonna see some dew or where this plant can actually do its proper job, which is to catch bugs and um, kind of have that kind of nice dewy look to it. There are some really great signs that this plant is making a comeback. And you can tell because if you look at the leaves, you can see that from the crown, all the leaves that are continued to grow from that crown is starting to grow longer than the previous one. So hopefully this plant is going to grow to its full size and once it has fully adapted to my environment, the new crowns will take over this plant and make it look nice and healthy and lush again. So. I am really looking forward to that time. I really don't like the look of this plant right now. I'm gonna trim a couple of the leaves so that it looks better and probably just remove all of the really dry, crispy leaves at the bottom so that we don't have any pest issues or any other issues caused by some decaying leaves. Carnivorous plants are really interesting because they don't necessarily have as detailed information about its care as I find with uh, orchids or other plants. I really struggle to find the right conditions for this plant. Supposedly, this is a highland plant, which means it likes cooler temperatures and brighter light conditions and high humidity. And in my current setup for it, it definitely gets fairly high humidity, really bright light, and uh, temperature wise, it's kind of on the hotter side because it's summertime. But once the weather starts cooling down, I think it'll hit that sweet spot where um, it'll have great uh, cooler temperatures so that this plant will do much better. Supposedly, this plant can handle the higher uh, summer temperatures too, as long as it's continued to be well watered. So I really have to keep that in mind. So far, I just make sure I water it all the time, make sure the tray is full of nice, clean, distilled water so there aren't any contaminants in the soil that can cause this plant to suffer. Most carnivorous plants are considered to be quite low maintenance and they're not as tricky uh, to take care of, but this particular one has been giving me a lot of trouble since I've got it. And um, in comparison to another one that I have, which is the Drosera alicea, that one's been way easier to grow than this one. And I'm not sure why, because both are touted to be quite beginner plants. So if you have any tips on growing the sundew, help it get better, 
And if you know more information about it, I would love to know. And if you've had something like this happen to your plant, please let me know too, because uh, dealing with problems with carnivorous plants is definitely new to me. So I'm just sharing what I know, what I see, and hopefully we'll learn together. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye.